back, I am coming on to do a layout for Minte papers and our assignment for January is anything we would like to do. So I thought I would go flipping through all of my gorgeous collections and just see what was going to speak to me. And I ended up on the Paradise Collection. It is full of these gorgeous, deep, saturated pastels and tropical things and all of my favorite colors. So I came across that. And then also I want to get into the Chippies Decor Summer Set. It clearly works with the whole tropical vibe perfectly. With my Chippies, I'm going to be bringing in some chalk paint. So, so far I brought in Aqua. I brought in Forest. Then I have Rosebud. And then finally I have Lemon. And they need to be shaken up. So the colors are not exact until I really get them going. I think lemon would work. So I have them because I want to paint up some of my chippies. And then I was thinking I want them to be shiny. So I'm going to see what happens if I do some um, clear embossing powder over them. But that's going to be down the way. Let me show you my photo. This is a photo of myself and the hubs, and we were in Florida last, uh, late April, early, early May, and somebody took this photo of us, and I thought it went really, really well with this collection. So, the first thing I want to do is pick which of these beauties I want to use. I will grab my handy dandy, which I cannot find at this exact moment. Here it is. I've got my crafting knife. I want to cut out a bunch of them and start getting them painted so they can dry while I do my design stuff. So I wanted to start by using my gorgeous yellow paint. This one is called Lemon and it's nice and vibrant and just perfect to go on my little sun here. So let's see making sure I'm still in frame. So pretty. And I think, yeah, one coat looks like it's going to totally do coverage for it. That is what's so great about chalk paints is they have fabulous coverage. So I have that. I want to also do my little lemons in them. Chose to do the three smaller lemons that were on the Chippies set. A lot of the ephemera is on the smaller size. So, I mean, of course, there's the big beach houses and all of that, but I thought it would work scale-wise with all of the pieces that are from paper number nine. I already went ahead and detail cut them out at some point while I was sitting on the couch, so they are ready to go for me. Super fun when I do it ahead of time. And guys, do you guys find... Detail cutting, fussy cutting. I call it detail cutting, but fussy cutting to be relaxing because I do. Feels like you're getting accomplished when you're just sitting on the couch watching TV doing a whole lot of nothing. Okay, super pretty. And of course, chalk paints dry a lot lighter. So we've got our first run. And let me get my paintbrush cleared off. And then what color should we do? Welcome sunshine. The blue might be fun. The blue may be fun. I think I'm going to do that part in blue. You know what I should do before I totally clean off my brush is I can do the centers of my little hibiscus in the lemon color before I come in with my rosy color, my rosebud. That's what I'll do really quickly because normally I start doing something like that and then realize after I clean up everything. So this is a big win. There we go. Any parts that need to be covered, the rosebud will cover it perfectly. Chalk paints are so good for that kind of thing. Now I don't mind having it kind of heavy on there because I like the texture you can get with chalk paint as well. So that is all fine. Now I can clean my brush and move on to Welcome Sunshine in my gorgeous Aquatone. I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact thing with my Welcome Sunshine. Oh, I need to, that is super watery. I need to get what's in my, oh, I got to shake it up just a little bit more. Now I'm going to go in with my gorgeous Aqua Shade and get my title painted. 
super simple. Just doing more of a dabbing motion does not have to be perfectly smooth application because rarely are things on a beach super smooth and pristine. So I'm going to dab that on. Now, the next thing, I know I'm going to go in with Rosebud on my hibiscus, and I think my flip-flops will be the perfect shade of forest. All right, let's get my cute little flip-flops. Too cute. I love this little dinky scale of them. I think they're funny. And then when they start to dry, I will start figuring out the design for my layout. I can't wait. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous collection. So one of the things about the Minte collections is they're timeless. Like, like you just, even if it's a collection from last season, looks fantastic. So ready to go. Okay, cute little flip-flops. These are going so quickly. The last color to come in with is this gorgeous rosebud color. I'll just be dabbing it around the petals. And my little hibiscus will get all completed. So cute. Paper number six is this gorgeous three by four cut apart. And the flip side of it has all of the frames. So I went ahead and cut out the one in the bottom right, right here. And I'm going to use that as a frame for my photo. I thought that would work rather nicely. So cute. But when I flipped it over, I realized that I totally want to cut out this piece here. I'm going to go ahead and detail cut out this gorgeous bird. That is beautiful. And I saw, oh, and then this piece right here with the cameras and the bird, the Instax, I thought that would be perfect as well. So I'm going to go ahead and detail cut these two pieces out because I know I want to include them on my page. They're absolutely stunning so uh, and even I mean guys look at that with the little drinks and the thing is I happen to be holding a drink in this piece so I'm like oh that's cute too but let me start with this and see if that's going to give me enough of my embellishments I have an entire sheet cut out as well so that might get me there I went ahead and am did some embossing on my little chippies with some clear embossing powder, and I love the look. They came out super deep and rich. Now I'm showing you all of these gorgeous papers that I decided to use. I have this lovely combination of paper number one, number six, and number nine, and I'm going to do a little bit of tearing. So this is where I have to be brave. I'm going to go ahead and tear this piece across. I wanna show the white core, but I tore two at the same time so that my tear lines totally match up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and trim off this branding strip and mount these gorgeous pieces of paper all together. I am going to start messing around a little bit, trying to get some placement and some ideas where I want my clusters, and I end up with two larger clusters. This is my very favorite part. Once I have the idea of the base of my layout, I want to add all of the things that I can possibly add on. I love those little lemon pieces, the little floral pieces, my title. And yeah, I'm just gonna be going in here and starting to build these out. Oh, and this cluster is just going to grow and grow. I also wanted to flip up my little torn edges a little bit because I want just a little bit more texture and dimension. So let's get some of these pieces down so we can start adding and adding to it. I love this little beach chair. The Instax cameras are just absolutely perfect with this and, and, and they just, uh, it all goes together so beautifully. So at this point, I have my main pieces down and I just wanna start adding to my, my layers and make it just a little bit more interesting. I'll pop up a bunch of things on some dimensional adhesive so I'm gonna have a nice bit of shadow. Now that I have all of these gorgeous pieces down, I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of a glossy white mist, which is gonna mimic the water in my background beautifully. And then I'm going to come in with a few little drops in a translucent color to create some water. And this is this layout done. I hope you guys enjoyed what I came up with today. I had so much fun using these products and I will be back ever so soon with another video. Bye for now, guys.